Moving on now, residents of Ojaodon have staged a peaceful protest to demand an end to an alleged invasion and inhuman treatment by herdsmen in their domain. The march to the palace of their traditional ruler where they presented their grievances and solicited government's intervention. John Felix tells us more. Ojaodon is a border of about 10 communities with over 95% of its inhabitants engaging in farming as a means of livelihood. This peaceful coexistence is often interrupted by alleged herdsmen invasion. Confirming this development, my camera lens cut some cattle in the act. The community seems aggrieved and agitated, judging by their protest songs. <laughs> They are welcomed by the waiting ends of the traditional ruler. They seem united, despite the incessant invasion by headsmen. They claim that on a yearly basis, the invasion has destroyed their livelihood and contaminated their water. A destruction of our crops, killing of people, contamination of our waters, uh, disturbing people, uh, students from going to schools, both grammar school and primary schools. In, in brevity, people of, people of this area hated the coming here of the Fulanese because they are of more dubious in character than anybody. Around the 2007, they started this uh, their problem. Like uh, meet, meeting people in their farm, ask them to go away from their farm or putting their cow inside their, their farms and destroy their farm. That's where the problem started. And uh, since several days we have been appealing to government, uh, people we can run to, at times we will go to the police and report. They will ask us to go and, and, and bring a Fulani. Is it possible for an individual to arrest a Fulani? It's not possible. Receiving the protesters, the traditional ruler appeals to both the state and the federal government to come to their aid. It becomes too difficult to tame them. And now presently we are having a very big challenges because some of them in Republic of Benin, some are from Niger Republic, where they rear their cattle in Republic of Benin. But the soldiers presently in Republic of Benin are now chasing them out of Republic of Benin. And this community is a border area. So they are now bringing in their cattle to our own community here destroying the crops, breaking the silo, and giving all the maize to their cattle. So as a matter of urgency, I employ the state government to come into the rescue of my people, the cry of my people. The majority of them voted for this party, and I think they should be given kudos. They should be protected. Their plea for protection, especially from foreign headers, who are fingered as culprits, seems to be receiving the required attention as the authorities are sure of improved security. We don't normally have problem with the indigenous herdsmen who are living in that place because they have become part and parcel of the place. We are not going to leave any stone on tongue. We have to continue providing security in that place. And the Commissioner of Police, Ogun State Police Command, CP Kenneth Ebrinzin, has assured the people of the place that the police are going to ensure that adequate security is in place there. While the agitation of these people persists, it is hoped that urgent and deliberate measures will be taken to ensure that these rural dwellers live in abundance. From Oja Odon, John Felix, Galaxy News, Ogun State.